It would literally, it would put you above command, <laughs> which would make you high command. See what you did here. Right. I see where you added a singular change. They're kidnapped, they're treated as government employees. Hey, we're in the meeting room. The door's unlocked. Oh, okay. On the fourth floor. The door is locked. Oh, is it? Oh my god. I thought, okay, I'll come unlock it. Murphy, fucking have it. Here you go. Okay, Corbin, yeah, I'm got, sitting here. This is my cold. seat. But oh. you should sit on the other side of Murphy. Shouldn't so that, it's, shouldn't it's, that be it's, close to the door? Uh, no. You should be right in that perfect spot. That's, okay. that's a perfect spot for you. So what if this somebody... This is my spot. Yeah, what if somebody comes in after shoot him? Then that, that's what you have to do. You're right across from the door. You You're right across from them. the door with yeah, perfect but fucking vision. Yeah, but there's potential crossfire from these two. Whatever, that's just, it is what it is. Okay. Wait, who are these two? Who are going to be these two? Awesome. You know what? We'll just have Solomon sit there. I mean, I won't miss. It'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> so, hey, how's it going, Cornwood? Pretty good. Congratulations. I heard it's official. 14 to 9. 14 to 9. Like, that is... I like that number. Yeah. yeah. You know what's one of the big things? He is... People for still the late night don't have gauge. like a a full understanding of the damn uh, money laundering. Are, are money orders completely illegal? Is there a charge even if they're not doing? Contraband. Sorry. Uh, contraband. So so we market for seizure. Are they inherently illegal? Yeah, it's inherently illegal, but you don't charge money laundering. Okay. Money laundering is articulated through you know a drug trafficking like process, is the way I put it last night at the law school. So it's like it's an investigative charge. So either through a more traditional pipeline of Murphy Braun, the attorney, accepts retainers from clients that are actually billed at 20% to be bank deposits, and he's running the first national bank of Murphy for the criminals. That kind of money laundering, and then the means of the bills to money orders pipeline. By laying out the steps, you make your money laundering case. So, the contraband is what you charge for just anything that's marked for seizure that you're not giving back. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it sounds good. But Regardless yeah, like, if you're even going to go after money laundering, you can charge them with the contraband. Okay. Damn, that's wild. So contraband is not that big of a charge. Right. Huh? Oh. Hey, Conrad, I'm, <laughs> I'm emailing you, and I want you to look at it. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm hoping to have your support on this stuff tomorrow, and I think Aiden, for someone like you, you can understand why something like the Whistleblower Protection Act would be very Remember important. That. Whistleblower Protection. Mm. Let's and say that, you were reporting wrongdoing on behalf of, I don't know, let's just say Captain Slacks. So here's Go. the problem. Yeah, all right. If, uh, who, who is the head of the Civilian Oversight Board? That's me. That me. Okay, that's going to be you. For sure. Hey, Murphy. Yeah. I feel like that's the right person to go and like help. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I think that's fine then. Because I, I, thought, I thought it was going to be a civilian. Oh, no, the head of the Civilian Oversight Board is the head of the Buyer Association. Okay. Okay, and the last one is I'm trying to establish a cabinet. Uh, Justin Over, uh, um, that's my staff. Conway, do I have your support on these uh, legislation items? So what, what is this with the cabinet? Crane apparently said this is what he always envisioned for the role, for what I do in chief of staff, that I would have staff employees. We were just so busy trying to get everything up and the government up and running that I didn't really have time to think about that. But I'm the chief of staff. Where the fuck are my staff? I should have a cabinet. So these are like government employees. I want them to be qualified as government employees for for several reasons. One, I want them to get paid as government employees. Two, I want their status as government employees to be very clear in the event that they are kidnapped, right? Or an attempted murder on their lives. I want them right. to, I want that to count as a government employee status. Okay, I don't want it just to be your average run of the mill kidnapping. It is kidnapping. And, employee, and, and you, right? can, you can hand pick yeah. your cabinet, right? And then I can hand pick my cabinet. Okay. Now is a great time to start folding in like more fun sort of projects. Exactly, into the more fun projects. And, and that's shit. what the cabinet is for. The cabinet is for people to help us bring more fun projects to the city we, yeah we need to find a way to facilitate some shit that's mm -hmm. yeah that, that's what the cabinet is okay that's me. gonna that, yeah that's gonna help because we need to find a way to do that without look uh, i know the construction companies like we can't be asking them to do a whole bunch of shit right now uh, but at a certain point it's like you know we gotta meet them in the middle you know we can we can ask and ask and ask all we want but we got a, a way to do some shit on our own i'm gonna see this right now um because i feel this way about my role i mean i i i think i've expanded the role somewhat beyond as it was just written made it my own feel the freedom to do that and don't feel limited by your predecessor that's the advice i would give both of you oh absolutely sort of ideas wait what related kind of in the works law enforcement you know, yeah sort um, of related ideas in the works i mean i've been out of town a few days but but one of the big things right now is uh trying to get some proper legislation for that 
uh, radio thing we talked about. Everyone's shit in the bed over that one. And I told him relax. Uh, all. The radio thing? Which radio thing? The DOC having this access to the same radio channels as we do. That thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that whole thing really sucked because, well, like, obviously anybody who was at that bench trial, you know, knows there were a lot of issues. So, like, everybody was kind of rushed to get the fuck out of there at the end. So, I didn't really get to, like, explain fully why the fuck he was not guilty so like he thinks he should get his radio back now i didn't say that like i don't think he should get his get that radio back i think it's probable that he shouldn't have it am i gonna give him a fucking felony because there's no definitive documentation either way oh my god no i'm not gonna give him a fucking felony Holy i think it's shit. a tidy up job and you know y'all deserve to take the l on that one to tidy up shop oh my lord you gotta be shitting me these idiots have been shitting the bed all week thinking that they they are allowed to have government radios they are not allowed to have government radios but they're also not going to get a felony for having one is all that was determined and how this is this is literally what happens in the pd here is the information at hand okay right here and then you walk on over and then it's oh let me see how i can misinterpret this in the worst way possible and then take that information and then share it with everybody else and then proceed Proceed to complain about it and how it's so bad when at the end of the day even though this information might have not been the best information i'm the one who chose to interpret it in the worst possible way and then share it with everybody else and cause problems for myself and everybody else involved when it's as simple as hey judge braun can you clarify what your decision on this ruling was three minute conversation yeah. everybody wouldn't be freaking but, but, out all week hey I'm, I'm reading so i'm reading through the police continuity plan Mm. Is it the exact same? Uh, same? Yeah, I just took out everywhere where I said deputy mayor, I think. I might have missed some places, so I still need to go through it. I also updated it from first ter initial term to second term. Uh, it still needs to be worked through. Like, I'm not I'm not done with updating that one. Yeah, I don't see where it says PD liaison. Cardwood, you can't be superior. You can't be made high command <laughs> by a legislative act. Wait, why not? Yeah. You can't. Well, no, it's not high command. This isn't high command. It would literally, it would put you above <laughs> command, which would make you high command. <laughs> well, no, wait, yeah, then you no, can't wait. be you're not. It's a self. It's it's a self negating uh, fallacy. Like you can't be high <laughs> command mean? and be PD liaison. It's so funny. So you you go you go back and forth between being one or the other indefinitely. Wait, you can't be high command like a, and PD liaison. No. Then how come you can be head of the hospital and healthcare liaison? That don't That's make a sense. great fucking motherfucking <laughs> point that, that you just fucking made as a matter of fact. Yeah, Quinn. that literally makes no sense. You should. Be... It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, you should be able to be high command and liaison. If anything, it cl that helps close the damn gap of miscommunication. Huh? Damn. Well, how effective uh, was it having like a rank and file as opposed to a high command in here first session? Horrible. I mean, just truthfully, you, the, the amount of miscommunication and the lack of action made due to the fact that there was no direction from high command because they, they're thinking about too many other things. Whereas if, if shit's right on high command's plate right then and there, then they actually get shit done. So if you have somebody in high command inside of this room, then yeah, maybe some shit's actually gonna happen. Or maybe people just need to not be fucking pussies and represent the people who voted for them that weren't command or high command and represent everybody else, their real constituents, instead of their special interest groups at the top. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's gonna happen if, if there's a sheriff election now? I imagine someone will be elected sheriff. Sure, but let's say it's me, and now I can't be the liaison no more, and then what would happen? The second place would get it, Nakoda? Oh my god, please, Gordon, that sounds like a terrible future. So, oh, so wait. what I'm saying here is that whatever kind of rule I think it would be a new is, vote. I think it would be a new vote. Be honest would they want to have a new vote yeah like a special uh, election like we had to do a runoff or had a buyer yeah. i'm pretty sure it would be a special election to I mean, be honest i don't know why let, we wouldn't do it let that me way stay as the liaison well i'm sheriff just just let me stay as the as the uh Honestly, chancellor here's for the thing. an extra term if, if, if we just put sheriff below high command on the chain and you're fine you can actually yeah but vote. why well, no because that don't make no sense it's fine no but, i mean like you, you're in your own thing so you're not you don't have you so, know what i'm saying so we have two separate departments yeah and we and they're not gonna there's two separate chains of command then oh yeah or what it sounds like you want to be your own boss i think that's like the what i'm gathering uh you, you well wanna... i mean i want to be my own boss because that's what i'm used to you know and then uh I want to be everybody else's boss because nobody else has proven that they can be anybody else's boss. Yeah, it's pretty pretty true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, let's be honest. They're, they're just the, the... Nobody has been able to prove that they're capable of, of 
running shit. So why not get the guy who's actually ran shit before to run shit? People are capable of proving that they want shit. shit. That's about it. Right. But then when they get, uh, a lot of people, they get their, their opportunity and, and they uh, cower. They shy away from it, right? Yeah, I'm so damn tired of, uh, look, look, here's what happens. You go and you sit back and you watch. And everybody's looking around and everybody's always saying, who's going to be the guy? Who's going to be the guy? And, and somebody, at a certain point, you got to say, hey, I, I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to I'm gonna get shit done. And it's not self-serving. It's because somebody needs or everybody needs somebody to go out there and be the guy. And it's not about I've been being the old yeller guy like six fucking times this year. You've seen it. Yeah. So it's like, shit, it's time to go out there and get shit done. I mean, you sure you don't love having another do your job meeting? I'm going to be honest with you. I love do your job meetings. I think they're good for morale. I think I think do your job meetings need to happen because if people did their damn jobs, we wouldn't need to have them. And when nobody's doing their job and no one's accountable, then everyone's just complaining and standing around all the time, not getting well, that's, anything Murphy, done. Well, that's Murphy. The thing that you said right there is the really important part: is that people aren't accountable when they fail to do things. They are not held accountable. Like the wrong people are held accountable. Oh God, I could go on. I could go on. I just, I don't I don't want to. I think about what happened to Cornwood. I think about the way that Denzel was targeted or or being upset about something that they're saying or doing or whatever. They're ignoring that the, their own like glaring hypocrisies. I'm reminded of a quote from the Bible. Okay, remove remove thine beam from thine own eye before pointing out the splinter in mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Um. Yeah. Well, Siobhan, what's your state ID? 1826. I'm working on this legislation. Okay, cool. Just work on it in city council yeah. documents and under reports I so I can actually see it. Well, no, I put it as a shared report. Cornwood. Oh. Uh -huh. Cornwood. <laughs> this is a troll. Huh. I see what you did here. Okay. I see where you added a singular change. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I, I <laughs> both, I both your energy. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me just sit here and read through the way. I mean, it would be an awful shame if I didn't vote on the police continuity plan. Uh, listen, Cornwood. I mean, there is no checks and balances, you know, seen as there how the is. Mayor you is can just a... impeach Max if he fucks up. Just impeach him. That's your check and balance. But it might actually be a better look for you to to vote no on it, Murphy. I just need you to vote yes on that for me, okay? Police continuity plan. <laughs> Yeah, Alan yeah, will probably Alan better will better Alan will probably vote yes on it, so it's fine for you to optically also agree with us. You see what they're doing? Yeah, Understand? Yeah, we should better for optics yeah. for Cornwood to actually vote no on it and let us pass it without him. Uh, yeah, apparently it's not. Why? Okay. I don't know, but it's well, marijuana. Be. All right, you can do that. So we just say nothing and let them. Yeah, unfortunately. Understood. Hey, how about this? I got an idea. You want to fight? No. Okay, hold on. So who's voting? One, you, me, two, Murphy, three. Max. There's eight seats here, and Max is the tiebreaker. He has an extra vote when it's a tie. Wait, I should eight. vote no. You should vote no. We can vote yes. You should vote no for optics. Cornman, I'm not fucking with you. I'm actually giving you good advice. Holy shit. Like, I've always done this whole time for you. Holy shit. Murphy man. votes yes. You vote no. Uh-huh. Yup. And you can say that you were right, whatever. That helps you win again, or whatever office you want to run for after. But only do that if Alan votes yes. Okay, so game plan. Okay. We vote in this order. It starts... No, we vote We vote starts on the left-hand side always. We go around the table. Alan votes, and then after Alan has voted, it's us three. So whatever Alan votes, if he votes yes... No, shit. Um, then that means I, no. I have to sit here. Uh -huh. I have to sit here. You gotta sit. You got it. No, 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 no. Not there. You sit here. Right there. Because we go around, and you need to vote after Alan. Okay. So you vote. You sat right where you're sitting. So my... Wait. Left? Wait, you're left or my left? Who's left? Can you sit right here where Alexis, where Alexis has her, like right there, where Alexis okay. is. So it starts with Max right here and it goes around the table. So it's going to go Max, I imagine Cantor, Solomon, Etta, if she stays, whoever Treasure is, Alan. <laughs> Cornwood and then Paul, you, Cornwood. so funny. And then Murphy. I need to be the last me. vote. I need to be the last no, vote. No, I'm the last vote. I'm the last vote. If I become Treasurer, okay, do I Alex handle the cost towards food? No, the only thing you do is you keep everyone else from embezzling. That's your job. Wait, hold on. Did you did you uh did you apply for it? Negative. Oh.